Hello, my name is Martin Kemp. I'm an Emeritus Professor of the History of Art at University of Oxford and have spent a good deal of time looking at Leonardo da Vinci. Um, he's obviously admirable in all this range of things he does, painting, architecture, sculpture, anatomy, physics, geology, etc, etc. There's hardly any range of the human sciences which he didn't touch on productively to some extent. So he's obviously a remarkable figure, uh, known as a polymath. Um, I've coined a word and said he's really actually a monomath. That's to say he sees all these diverse areas which we separate out into discrete disciplines all with their own jargons, their own ways of proceeding. Um, he, separate, he doesn't separate these out, he sees them as a single unified field, a field of the knowledge of human beings, the knowledge of nature, and these are the same areas of knowledge, they're not essentially separate categories of knowledge. Uh, so we can look at Leonardo for joined up thinking, which we absolutely need at this present moment in this time of notable crisis. Um, he teaches us to look at things in a more unified way, which we're still not good at doing. And this lack of joined up thinking is pretty catastrophic for the future of the Earth and the future of human beings on it. So he's very relevant to Earth 300. If we look in more specific terms and look at one area of his activity, that is to say his geology and his studies in the body of the Earth, he has a notion of the human body as a as a lesser world, he calls it a small miniature world, that inside us all the processes of nature which we can see outside are represented on a smaller scale. This is classically in from ancient Greece, this is the notion of the microcosm. The microcosm, the human body is a model for the, the larger world outside. And this is a fuels a terrifically energetic and remarkably innovative research for how we can work with nature. And I've been looking at this very closely recently with the Codex Lester, so-called, owned by Bill Gates. Um, very, very extraordinary uh, compilation of what we can do with water, how we can work with water. And it, he says he, it won't be pushed around in order to be a good engineer of watery things. We have to work with nature itself and with how nature, uh, nature works. So this is an absolutely fundamental lesson which we need to take on board, that we can't say we are masters of nature, that clearly isn't the case. And the notion of the lesser world and the greater world and the integration of these two works absolutely amazingly if we set it in our present context.